Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Scorpio and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Scorpio. Alright, if you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there are my Etsy shop in the description down below. You just have to go check that out. Go in and go buy something. Really appreciate that. Currently have a sale going on. You can also find my shirt store on my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. Oh my god, Scorpio. Um, Patreon. Oh yeah, and if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. I do preach donations here. Okay, so we're just going to leave these two cards like that. Now, before we get into your reading, Scorpio, let's do some prayers. First, we have number 29, the goddess Kali over here. Supreme Mother of the Universe, I am in your hands. My body, mind, and soul seek refuge in you. You are now fed by your nectar, which alleviates poisons and brings strength, wisdom, and peace. I settle into your presence. You and I are bonded in divine love. A bond which can never be broken. May your comfort arise in my heart now, reaching through all dimensions for the spiritual benefit of all beings. We have number 18 with the goddess Kuan Yin over here as well. Take me into your heart, beloved Kuan Yin, fierce with love, where the pure fire of peace burns eternally. May I be blessed with peace and protection now and always. May I feel the loving protection of your consciousness within my own heart. Alright, so, the cards that fell out for you, Scorpio, we have number 39 with Orpheus, Faith, and then we have number 25 with Athena, Wisdom. Okay, oh my god, Scorpio, the owl came out last time in your reading. That is this owl that you're connecting with. Athena. Okay. Now let's pull one more card before we just start babbling over here. But you are connected with these beings. Okay. Okay. We have number 41 with Hercules, strength. Okay, and these are the beings that you're connecting with. We have Hercules, we have Athena, and we have Orpheus. Alright, so it's telling you there's, like, you're being given strength here. You're being given wisdom. And it's telling you to have faith. And let's read deeper into these. So there's a couple of these that uh, have not came out in readings yet. Zeus feared that his first wife, Metis, whose name means wisdom, would bear a son who would overthrow him. Zeus swallowed Metis where she was pregnant with Athena. Despite his effort, Athena sprang fully grown from Zeus's head, dressed in her war armor and shimmering with gold. Holding a sharp spear, Athena is the virgin goddess of wisdom and appears in many myths. Planning strategies for wars and guiding heroes towards their goals. Her ability to see things from a higher perspective allows her to choose the best course of action. Athena and Poseidon competed to become the patron deity of what would become Athens. Poseidon created a spring that brought water and trade, but it was salty and not good for drinking. Athena created domesticated, the domesticated olive tree, which gave the, the Athens food, oil, in wood. Her gift was by far the wiser and more fruitful, and she became the patron of Athens, which was named in her honor. This example illustrates how Athena used her ability to see the bigger picture to achieve her desired outcome. Athena represents clarity and balance of mind. It may be time for you to stop and take stock of your life. You may need to put your feelings aside and closely review your current situation. You may need to journal, meditate, or go for a long walk in order to obtain clarity. Athena helps heroes win battles, but only through this intelligence, clarity, foresight, and wisdom. 
This is a time to be smart, and wisdom only comes from the heart. And mind are in balance. If you feel muddled, overwhelmed, or frustrated, it is time to stop engaging in the dramas of your exterior life so that you can see what is really occurring and discovering. How to move forward and defeat the monsters in your inner life. This is a time to face yourself calmly and honestly so that the guiding light of clarity can see you through the next phase of your life. Alright, then we have number 39. Known as the father of song, Orpheus is an incredibly complex mythological figure. He was a master poet and musician, and is said to have founded the mysterious Greek religion, Orpheus. When a poison snake killed his wife, I don't know how to say that name, Orpheus journeyed into the underworld to beg Hades and Persephone to allow his wife to return to the world with, above with him. He says he did this in the form of a song that brought tears to all who heard it. A deep, sorrowful song filled with anguish and longing for his wife. Upon hearing the song, Hades and Persephone were so moved that they granted his request. The only time they would ever allow such a thing to occur. However, they would only allow his wife to passage back as long as she followed behind Orpheus on their return journey, and he did not look back at her until they were safely out of the underworld. Tragically, just before they reached the surface, Orpheus did indeed look back. His wife vanished before his eyes and was lost to him. I said, why did Orpheus look back? Did he not trust the power of his own song? When you make the difficult journey through the underworld, our subconscious, we undergo the transformation that takes place there. We return to the surface with incredible treasures. But the only way to return with these treasures intact is to maintain faith in our own abilities. This card shows that you have great vision and talent, but it's essential that you believe in yourself, your own song, and the power you hold. You can accomplish miraculous things, but you cannot allow self-sabotage and doubt to stump along the way. You are powerful, and you must now gather the courage and faith to stand in this power. Close your eyes and feel the essence of your being. Breathe into your heart and feel the magic that exists within you. Stand strong in your truth, in your abilities, and in yourself, and you return triumph. I think that's a big message here, is you believing in yourself, Scorpio. That's what these beings are doing. They're trying to, like, self-confidence in your abilities, whatever it is you do, whether it's through art or whatever, right? Have confidence, have faith, you know, that this is working here. This, you know, what I'm doing is good, all right? It says, Hercules is the son of Zeus, an immortal woman, jealous Hera drove Hercules mad, causing him to kill his brother's children. To redeem himself, Hercules offered to serve his cousin, the king. The king sent Hercules twelve seemingly impossible tasks to accomplish, tasks that required great strength, courage, humility, and wit to overcome. The tasks were supposed to be his undoing, but Hercules proved himself time and time again, accomplishing every task and acquiring magical items or knowledge with each. Upon completing twelve tasks, Hercules was set free to continue his heroic deeds throughout the land. Hercules eventually married I can actually see in the book how to say some names. Hebe. The daughter of Zeus and Hera. The labors of Hercules are all about self-mastery. Mastery of the wild beasts within so that a person may use their raw power in a wise and controlled. See, mastering yourself, Scorpio. So you can access more of your abilities. Have that confidence in your abilities here. Through your manifestations. Okay. Mastery of yourself. A number of Hercules' tasks involved killing or capturing wild animals. One of these was in me and Lion. A creature with skin so thick it was invulnerable to weapons. Hercules ultimately used the beast's own claws to cut through its skin and was thereby able to defeat it. After this, Hercules always wore the lion's skin as armor. This card is about strength, focus, and discipline and wisdom. These qualities, we can harness our own raw powers and use it to create whatever we want in our lives. If you feel yourself, if you find yourself feeling messy, undisciplined, erratic, or caught in any destructive or addictive activity, 
and your need for instant gratification outweighs everything else, it is time to get organized and take every necessary action to get your life back on track. This card tells you that it is not enough to act on pure instinct. This is a time for focus, strength, self-control, and discipline. This is a time for overriding ego-driven or childlike urges that are often based on a need for pleasure and instant gratification. This is a time for establishing your personal power and learning to govern your life from a place within you that is clear and true. Do whatever is necessary to take back the power in your life. This is a time for great strength. Alright, Scorpius, so that's messages for you. That's the beings connecting with you. Now let's get some runes to charge yourself. See you what we have. We have Aries. Okay, so you could have those placements. Maybe you have one around you here. We have the number 11. Okay, number 11 can have some significance to you, but it's two ones put together. That's like beginnings. Okay, 11s. Aries. Okay, so we have Thoth. Horus. We have Ra. We have the sun and the moon. That is balanced, Scorpio. We have Virgo. So once again, you have those placements, one around you. We have this dragon moon, which you're connecting to, which is a symbol of Kornian over here. We have fertility, and we have we have things actually being, you, you know, things are actually, I feel like your manifestations, they are successful. I think that's why it's telling you to have faith, have more confidence in yourself here, Scorpio, because it is successful. Don't have this doubt, you know, did it work? Didn't it work? No. So... That's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop. When they go buy something, really appreciate that. Um, and if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.